The World Health Organization has changed its opinion on the transmission of COVID-19. Now they're saying that airborne or aerosol transmission is a possibility. If the theory is proved, it would mean more, much more stringent distancing and mask wearing is necessary to ensure epidemic prevention. Normal masks would be virtually useless, and only medical grade N95 masks would afford the user real protection. But doctors are still in disagreement about how the virus really spreads. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro takes off his mask in front of the camera on Tuesday as he reveals he is COVID-19 positive. He's doing great, he says, and plans to keep working and meeting colleagues online. The pandemic is still far from over. According to Johns Hopkins University, 11.8 million people worldwide have now caught the virus and 540,000 have died of the disease. Now the WHO is changing its mind on how the virus is transmitted. Aerosols may be a vector, it says. Um, we have been talking about the possibility of, of airborne transmission and aerosol transmission as one of the modes of, of transmission of um, COVID-19. If it's true, that would put COVID-19 in the same category as diseases like tuberculosis, measles and chickenpox. If there's airborne transmission, no more face masks are useless. You need to wear an N95 grade mask. Social distancing is also useless. 1.5 meters distance will do nothing to stop the virus spreading because airborne transmission can spread 10 or 20 meters. Dr. Huang Liming of the Infectious Diseases Society of Taiwan says even quarantine hotels could be redundant if the aerosol hypothesis is proved. But more evidence is needed, he says. If you can prove that human-to-human -human transmission can take place over more than two meters distance, then you can prove there's very likely airborne transmission. If people are afraid that airborne transmission is happening, then when indoors, you must always wear a mask. A vaccine is the hope of many, but vaccine developers in Taiwan have yet to start phase one clinical trials. Former head of the Centers for Disease Control, Su Yiren, and other experts say that progress is too slow. Taiwan's vaccine work is slower than in other countries. It's mainly because our fundamental conditions aren't as solid as theirs. Our political policies are also not as comprehensive. The policies for promoting and cultivating vaccines don't have a very complete plan. The Food and Drug Administration has promised to try and lower the threshold for a valid Phase two trial to accept a trial with just 1,000 subjects. If that's successful, a vaccine could be ready by spring 2021 at the earliest.